Generative video has been something that a lot of AI folks have been keeping an eye on. It has been a bit slow in terms of progress and updates compared to text to image models. We previously saw a lot of open source models that could generate videos from a simple prompt but were not that efficient. Then Runway announced their Gen 2 model which was a lot more capable than these other models but was not open to everyone until now. Now you can use Runway's Gen 2 for free. You get something like 100 seconds of generative video in the free account. In this video, I am going to explore the free account of Gen2 and how capable it is and what all we can do using this generative video AI model. You can get access to Runway's Gen2 model by visiting the website and logging in. If you do not have an account then you can sign up so that you get the free credits. Once the website opens, there are some amazing tools but in this video we are specifically going to look at Gen2 model because it is new to the website. So in order to use it, let's click and the interface is pretty simple. You just have a prompt area where you need to write a simple prompt in order to get these results as you can see right here. You also have an option to click on an image and try that prompt. So for example, I want an image that looks like this right here. So. A cinematic shot of a fox in the rain, ultra realistic HD during golden hour. You can change this prompt a bit in order to, like if you do not want a fox, I want a tiger. And then let's click on generate. And it is surprisingly faster than what I thought. It takes anywhere from 1 to 2 minutes to generate sometimes even lesser and as you can see this is the video that was generated and I really like the quality of the video it exactly generated actually I didn't put any particular prompt but the quality is pretty good now one more option you have in order to generate different videos is by clicking this section right here so I can select an image from my PC by downloading it from Google or anything suppose I want this image to be replicated in the video I'm going to select this image and then I can use this image as reference so I've already selected my image and now this is the prompt a cinematic shot of a girl standing in a room looking outside a window evening lights and now let's see what it comes up with. The video that is generated has a similar style to that of the image. Let's see the video. It is a still cinematic shot of a woman or a girl looking outside the window. Now you can also write anything that you want. So let's try creating something that is a bit different by writing our own prompt. So this is the prompt that I wrote, Iron Man sitting on a sofa looking into the camera, red armor eating popcorn. So let's see what it generates because it's a, it's a bit different, the prompt is a bit different. Let's see what kind of a result does it generate. So the result is finally ready, let's watch the video. So the video has not much of movement, the popcorn has some smoke. And the character does not look exactly like Iron Man. It doesn't look anything like Iron Man actually. So one thing you can do is you can start changing the seed value. So I can write the seed value as any number that I want. So by changing the seed value your final output. So by changing the seed value your final output also changes a bit. Now I can also click on this to smooth out my frames. And let's try generating another video and we can write something like I changed the prompt and I wrote red armor holding a burger and eating fast like he is very hungry because I want to see that uh, how good of a movement does it generate so even this video is not that good let's get on to the next prompt because this was a very unsuccessful attempt so the next prompt I've written is bird's eye view of a forest fire. 
the video is finally generated let's watch the video and I'm okay I'm happy with this result you can improve the results by adding some more details but I think for now what works for me best is that I write a simple prompt and get exactly what I want you can also try changing the seed value but I'm not going to do that right now now let's get on to the next prompt and generate something a bit more specific so if you are wondering that you are not getting those images that you were getting before just click on reset and here are all your images from where you can get ideas and use the image so I want this one to be regenerated an astronaut tripping through space and let's generate the existing prompt as it is I tried changing the seed two times but it didn't seem to make any difference so let's try one last prompt this time I tried something different this time I tried something different I wrote pouring hot molten lava into a glass container from a jug so let's see what it generates now it generated this not exactly what I wanted but something of that sort So you can play around with this tool, experiment with different prompts and see for yourself what you can generate. As you can see I generated so many videos and I am still left with 53 seconds of video. So you can try out this tool by going to runway, the link is in the description. Have fun with this tool and this was it for the video. If you liked the video then subscribe to the channel and I will be back with some more AI related content in my next video.